Good morning and welcome to Flat Earth Debate. If you are new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the Flat Earth Debate. If you would like to support this channel, there is a super chat that runs alongside the live show. And if you would like to join the debate with your watch page muted, simply click on the link in the info box below this video to join the debate live, where you'll be free, at least for the time being, to express your views on the shape of the earth entirely unopposed. There are a couple of rules in the Hangout, the first being please do not swear. If you do, you'll be ejected. Which brings me to the second rule, please do not try and rejoin the show with sock accounts once you have been ejected. You will be warmly welcomed back on the next show. What I'm going to do now is share the show on Facebook, Skype and Twitter and I would encourage anybody who is in the live stream to do exactly the same. Once more, if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the Flat Earth Debate.
just got done sharing the show on Facebook, Skype, and Twitter. Again, I would encourage anybody who is currently in the live stream to please also share the show. That's right, share the show. Feel free to share. That's right, share the show. That's right. Yes, you tell them. Feel free to share both the join link and the watch link. So the join link is in the info box. Feel free to cut that and share that with every, everyone and anyone you wish to get to join the show and the share link, which is on the share button. So if you could do those as I've just done, we may get some people in the chat, which we have already got. So I'll say a few shout outs to the people who have currently joined us. Let's just scroll back up through the chatters. So Charlotte, good to see you. You were indeed first. No, don't end my live stream, please, my little angel. Mr. Grim V, pleased to have you here. Mr. B, good to see you. That's right, little chicken. Are you doing the shout outs with me? P Mars, good to see you. Curved Water, hello, thanks for being here. Anybody else? The Darkness, good to see you. He says, Curved is a pseudo intellectual. And that's very rude, the darkness. Very rude indeed. AIK, good to have you here. So it's lunchtime. It sure is coffee time in a minute, as soon as I've done these shout outs. And I'll go back to my photographs. I'll do one more link, see if I've missed anybody. And then you'll see photos till we do actually get a guest joining. So if you are new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the Flat Earth Debate. If you would like to support this channel, there is a super chat that runs while this show is live. And if you would like to join the debate, click on the link in the info box below this video. Make sure to mute your watch page, the page you are currently looking at before you click on that link. Once you do, you are free to, at least for the time being, express your views on the shape of the Earth entirely unopposed. No doubt someone will come and challenge you, but for the moment there is nobody here, so you would be able to express your views without being challenged. There are only a couple of rules in the Hangout. Number one, please do not swear. If you do, you will be ejected. Once ejected, please do not try to rejoin with a different account. Again, you will just be repeatedly re-ejected. You will, however, be warmly welcomed back on the next show. So if you've not done so already, please share the show on Facebook, Skype, Twitter, and all the various different social media platforms at your disposal. If you've not subscribed already, click on the subscribe button and the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the Flat Earth Debate.
Oh, I didn't see you there, Curved Water. How are you doing? Can I just check if we can hear you okay and everything? Yeah, good morning. Good morning to you too. I'm going to leave you to it. I'm just going to make a cup of coffee, so I'm not going to actually put the um, the screen on us yet, just while I'm making a cup of coffee in case anyone comes in and tries to do anything they shouldn't. But your the platform's yours. You can say what you like. The mic's on. Anything I like? I will turn you up a bit, though. I am... Uh, I'm going to have a little chat with the darkness. A bit of a pseudo-intellectual in his own right. The man actually tried to say vicious and spelled it viscous. As in like a viscous fluid. That's pretty smart, darkness. So what? what's your beef, darkness? Why are you coming in here in the chat, jumping all over me, lying about me, saying all kinds of things that aren't true? Like this one here. Curved water is identical to Bob Nodell saying he has experience when he does not. The darkness. Not one time, not one time have I ever claimed to have. We've been joined by Sleeping Warrior. How are you doing? Greetings. Oh, I'll turn you down a bit. What experience have I ever claimed to have, darkness? Show one, one piece of evidence to support your retarded lies. Dude, I don't have any journal entries. I don't have any papers. I don't have any projects I have worked on. I've always been very proud of the fact that I have nothing but a high school education. I am not indoctrinated by university, as you guys claim. None of that. But what evidence have you got that the Earth's a curved ball? Curved. So, darkness. When have I ever claimed to have any experience? When have I ever claimed to have any papers? Why do I need to have papers, journal entries? or to have worked on a project to discuss the simple issues here of the shape of the earth. And while darkness is thinking of an answer. Straw man me, lie about me, say I've made claims that I have not. That doesn't, somebody let, it doesn't somebody let Jeremy know that I'm here for him. We can start the shape of the earth. See, you don't know how to reason, darkness. You're probably autistic. You might be good at some kinds of math and stuff like that, Germanicus Key, but you have no common sense. I don't need credentials. What do you have, darkness? What do you have except for you sitting out there on your keyboard tapping away lying about me? common sense to defend Mr. Grim V about what? I didn't tell any lies. You accused me of lying when I did not. I'm supposed to be the defender of everybody and jump into everybody's conversation instead of letting them work it out on their own. As far as I know, Grim and I are like past that, over that, beyond that. Not my job. So again, you've done nothing but tell lies about me. Attack me with odd ad homs. Lies. What do you have, darkness? So be it. Who's swearing? That's not the lie. You're straw manning now, darkness. Why are you deflecting? 
you know exactly what the lies are. I've already I've already pointed them out to you. You're dodging. Who swore, Nathan? Who are you warning with the no swearing, please? Sorry, were you talking to me? Yeah, you said no swearing, please. I'm asking who. Did I swear? I went in the chat. Oh, in the chat. Yeah, oh, yeah, it was know. a joke. Oh. You can swear Let's in the check. chat. Trying to keep that in check, so I just wanted to make sure I didn't... <laughs> no, 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 no. I see, I, see, I see you're paying attention to the chat. I didn't realise you were reading the chat at the same time. I was in the kitchen. I wasn't actually listening to the hangout. I'm back now. I've got my coffee. <laughs> yeah, I'm reading all the lies that the darkness... Oh, uh, I see. Yeah, sorry. When I step away, I tend, tend to keep the chat next to me. Well, as you two I haven't actually entered into any debates yet, I'll do a few more shout-outs. So, Dave Freeman, good to have you here. Fanny Lancer, good to see you. 1982, is that Unique Griffin? Good to have you. Sleeping Warrior, who's already in the Hangout. Hopefully we'll hear something from him. Boo. The Darkness, you've already said hello to, I believe. Harvey Chuckles, good to have you here. I missed anybody, hopefully not. Benchmark, thanks for being here. I think that's pretty much it. If any of you would like to join, there is a link in the info box below this video. Just be sure to mute your watch page before you join the show, where you can debate either the flat earther known as Sleeping Warrior or the globe earther known as Curved Water. Hey, how's, how's my... Uh level right now i forgot to plug in my headphones man because i didn't go to college you, you're perfect you so and you and back you and anthony about the same volume to the audience well anthony's here to talk to jem i'm not trying to be rude and ignore him but he's here to talk to jem and um anthony's not really worth talking to anyway so <laughs> not trying somebody to... put the flag out for jeremy get him in here let's carry on from yesterday with what he was <laughs> raffling on about yesterday would you like to talk about sexually harassing karen p why would i want to talk about sexually harassing karen p good point um people like to talk about sex it's they might sure, like talking about sex but it's flat earth related let's not let's be honest if it's a it, although it's gossipy it is related to flat earth so we've been joined by p mars and mr green so thank you very much to you two for being here what, what? How is it related to Flat Earth? She's a Flat Earther, and she said that you're in the Flat Earth community trying to uh, get threesomes with women instead of actually be a Flat Earther. Plasma, so plasma, 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 plasma. I'm just kidding. How does that have <laughs> anything to do with Flat Earth? Well, you know, because it's like you're you're not really into the Flat Earth. You're into threesomes. That's why you're here, right? Oh, right. Okay. So, again, how is that anything to do with Flat Earth? Because there's a flat earth community in which one of the prominent members has accused you of like stalking them and harassing them for sex and a threesome and all that stuff. Yeah, but Antonio accuses everybody of everything. So what difference does it make? Uh, Karen actually. And all, all, of, all the things Antonio has brought up are related to flat earth too. So what's your point? Did Karen the my point is that it's got that absolutely nothing to do with flat earth and it's to do with Karen's sex life, my sex life or anybody else's sex life. And it's got nothing to do with flat earth. Anthony, why are you trying oh. to put it off on Antonio when Karen herself has confirmed this? No, has I'm not, not talking about whether Karen or Doug, Karen, I'm not, not talking about this in any way. Not because you know why? I, I feel Karen, bad for Karen has to deal not, with people I, like Anthony Riley. Yeah, like, why do you dodge the issue like you do? Because it's called the privacy and the why respect always, for my own I, privacy. Why are you so dishonest? It's about right? motivations and integrity. Why, why is it dishonest? It? Oh, shut like, up. Why is it it's dishonest? Like, it's, it's about motivations and integrity. Like, why are you really a flat earther to feed on people, the psychosis of men who, people and try to sexually abuse them? Yeah, men, 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 who, men who beat women, they want that to be private too. Yeah, you tried to put it off on Antonio. You tried to. No, I'm not trying to put it off on Tony. What I'm saying is, it's got nothing to do with flat Earth. And if it was to do with flat Earth, I would be here talking about it. Why did well, it might have something to do with your motives of why you're in flat Earth. That's why I think maybe it was a question. 
is a more well, of a question of the integrity of your motives of why you are even you here in the movement in the first you place. You accept any evidence that you accept to be credible. So it's not that it couldn't have anything to do with – you can't keep repeating that same mantra. It has nothing to do with that. Yeah, well, the psychology it, behind it, all the whole thing exactly. actually very much well could have something to do with it. If you're here as a predator, yeah, do you guys, that sort of thing. Yeah, and that's why you're here really? around the groups of people who are weak-minded and you know they're weak-minded because, I mean, obviously, look, they're flat earthers. Come on. Do you, Do you guys realize that there's something called the privacy that is um, it's one of the community standards and the community yeah. rules that you're not allowed to breach? No, Do it's a cult standard and a cult rule, but not a community. I'm not in your community, fool. No, it's a community it's standard. standard. YouTube. You're YouTube. not exposing cult. I suppose exposing all, all the women exposing, exposing Harvey Weinstein, they should respect yeah. Harvey Weinstein's privacy, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it's a privacy issue, isn't it? We're talking about Karen here. We're talking about me. We're they talking about Antonio. Bill We're talking about privacy. Well, Karen was talking about the privacy about issue. They got to respect Bill Cosby's privacy, you know. They got to respect Ed Gein's privacy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but there's a place to do that, isn't there? The place to do that yeah, would be right the there place, with the courts, which the is what. Is, is, the point is, is no. The, no, the point is, is this. what are your real motives? I mean, if your real motives what the are. What does that have to do with my motives? Hey, no swearing. No swearing, please. I, I'm not really talking about your particular situation. Obviously, I'm just saying, how could it be ruled out explicably? Expli excuse me explicitly that there is absolutely no motive other than you just wanting to be in the flat earth if you are out here doing that kind of thing in the community because it's got nothing that no one has the right to ask you what the fuck are your real motive excuse my french sorry i forget that we're on this show no, no more swearing please i've got to start booting you i always forget that I right, let, let me just clear it up so that you guys don't, you understand the basic rules of, the, of how youtube works everybody enjoys a right to privacy if I decide not to talk to you about my private life, that's my my, it's my right to to be private. If Karen except, wants to talk, yeah, except shut up, wait, me. wait. You're if using Karen this platform to actually shut up. Do shut up. Shut up. Publicly, if Karen wants to talk to you about her private life, or somebody else to the wants public. to talk about their private life, that's entirely up to them. I choose not to because it's got nothing to do with you. It's got nothing to do with flat Earth. So if you want to carry on on this line. And I'm not going to even talk to you. You can talk about what else. I'll tell you, what, I'll tell you oh, not mine. I, do I, I, I don't even care about your public. It, to me, well, that's not a great argument at all. This is the point that matters to me. You tried to uh, slag it off onto Antonio. As no, I didn't. Karen, as if Karen no, had not. My position is the same. Herself. My position Dude. is the same. It's got nothing to do with you. It's got nothing to do with Flat Earth. It's got no, nothing. It's about to do your response. It's about your dishonesty. It's about your lying tactics. Right. So you've used the word dishonest. What evidence yeah. have you got that I was dishonest? I just showed you. Um, you, tried well, you, deleted. Him. you tried to discredit you Anthony, I mean, Antonio, and say, no, like, so Antonio no, 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 no. That's not trying to discredit blah, 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 blah. Antonio. Karen no, no, said no. It. No, Karen no, no. That it. is not dishonesty. You act as though Karen didn't say anything. I didn't say you anything. So Karen didn't I confirm said. it. No, you I didn't say to anything. I said, I'm not prepared to discuss my to private life. It. But said, if did. Karen wants but to talk did. about her private life, or but Antonio wants to talk about his private life, but then they're free to do that. But, but I am not talking about mine. Do you understand you that? Did. Do you understand you did. that? Yeah. The dishonesty right. part right. of your so stands, Drop Riley. it, gentlemen, because it's fuck all. To, sorry, it's nothing to do with Flat Earth. Get rid of that. I'm not discussing it. If you want a discussion with them, go and speak to them because you're getting nothing out of me. I already got something out speaks, of you. You just speak all yourself to be dishonest. Why you're in this community, though. I see how you it's work, fun. Riley. Does Everybody does. does. No, you don't. You know nothing about me, Curved. Nothing at all. Possibility that your integrity is not great. Right. Yeah, yeah right. Riley, you don't really. You don't really yeah, have any integrity. integrity. Yeah, I'm the only one out of everyone in this room that comes on chat. Maybe P Mars does too, but nobody else comes on the chat. Are you kidding? <laughs> Riley, you got a video about? where you said that if, you're talking if, um, to right now. if tides I, made it so you could you see You clearly farther. need to recognize, fool. Riley, <laughs> you have a video where you state yourself, if low tide means like you can see farther, that would prove the ball to you. And you got went out and gathered evidence that showed that, but you're still a flat earther because you're a sexual predator. <clears throat> and that's Very what I thought you were suggesting, actually. Well, it's not that it's to say it wouldn't be a sexual predator, right? It would be more of just an opportunist. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, because he's he he. I've seen the video. He's like, uh, I'm gonna. What was it? The black was it? Black Tower hey. Tides or whatever the tides here. Yeah. 
nothing wrong with and it. You don't said, try to tell me you're here for honest reasons, though. Yeah, and he then, said in his video, and then he goes and he, he takes you know, down the video down. It shows what like a what a like contradiction he is because he said himself, if this evidence shows this, then I will believe in the ball. He goes out and he finds the evidence that shows like that would support the ball, but he's still a flat earther because he sees opportunities for sex, I guess. So yeah, that's Anthony that Riley. Makes sense. And lots of, there's lots of other opportunities too. That's why I've been saying that affirmation bias problem and all of that. People need that. And uh, unfortunately, that's more powerful than the truth or facts or data. Yeah, um, we live in a post-fact world. Although it's like weird because people are brainwashed to like Think be obsessed facts. with facts. Yeah, facts yeah. are hollow, holier than thou. But then if you oh, present facts, facts to people, they only they only believe believe the facts that they want to believe and stuff. Like. You know, like I, I, I like to smoke weed, right? So it's like if you. Facts. If you present facts that like weed is good, it's like easier for me to believe it, right? Because I want to believe it, you know? And then like mm -hmm. any facts that go against something that I like, it, I'll, I'll dismiss them. And like, that's how people operate. It's not like <laughs> they have no like um, <clears throat> confirmation ability. Bias. Yeah, it's like they, they don't have an ability to like look at sources, think critically and shit like that. And, and, and like maybe that. be open-minded. <laughs> yeah. Plasma, 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 plasma. <laughs> it's hard to remember not to swear, man. This is the only one on the line that I, exists. There's actually something I was researching called like a backfire effect. You can, people can go Google this backfire effect that if you actually present facts to people that don't like agree with the facts or whatever, you reinforce their wrong belief so trying to bring someone out of like a false belief you're actually pushing them further into that like fantasy oh well, you up. can tell too that's why that steve mccray guy has a, a really pro bad problem with me is he cannot deal with the fact that i demonstrate his incorrectness in front of people through his manipulative tactics and hammering the mute button and close you know shutting you off to gish gallop and to shotgun all over your statements you know what i mean <laughs> even through all that you still saw that he was a knucklehead lacking in it not la lacking in competence <laughs> that's for sure but if you talk about things outside of their realm of understanding or knowledge and they're trying to play pecking order in the room they do that there's just too much ego and stuff involved with everybody as far as the illusion of knowledge, accepted science, you know, people with appeal to authority issues, all that kind of stuff. You know, it's not easy discerning who's the dummy and who's the one who knows what they're doing and da 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 da. If you don't understand, intuitively the whole picture you know <clears throat> who's setting up what why the institutions are teaching particular things where the discrepancies and the theories actually lie what is settled science and what is not you know and a lot of these guys think this stuff is settled science and they believe silly things like einstein rings prove gravitational lensing like there's no other explanation like chromatic refraction at all and that's not you know they're blue for one so that would demonstrate it being a chromatic apparition in the first place so you know uh, uh, gravitational lensing it would be all the wavelengths bend together that's what the math calls for it wouldn't be just one color there of the wavelength scattered blue light anyway so plus they're all their broken theories you know the void of electric interactions doing all the heavy lifting um, in sp space because they didn't know about the medium that does exist. It's there. They found it now, but there's their theories are still stuck on stupid. And they found all this new data. See, that's what's supposed to happen. New data comes in and it falsifies old theories and the old theories have to be rewritten, not patchworked, not create ad hocery ideas like dark matter and stuff to fill in blanks because you just, You'd rather invent some imaginary crap 
than actually use the classic physics that we do understand and know already? Like that doesn't make sense. Like it's plasma. Duh. <laughs> Here's your elusive bulk, you know, baloney stuff. Anyway. Plasma, 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 plasma. Uh, plasma, 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 plasma. Hydrodynamic wave, hydrodynamic wave. Plasma, 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 plasma. Magneto hydrodynamic wave. Yeah, mag thank you. Magneto hydrodynamic wave. <laughs> I don't know how many times I could say that in a row, though. <laughs> oh, hey, real plasma, quick. Plasma, plasma, what plasma. is Riley here to lie about anyway? Polaris. <laughs> Nipolaris, 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 booby dome, booby dome, booby dome, booby dome, booby dome, booby dome. I swear these kids made me laugh so hard the other day. They came in and they just did all that kind of stuff on a on a chat room. They were all together doing it on a panel. It was too funny. It was somebody I didn't even like too, so it was even better. Is there a natural break in the conversation? It seems like there is. So if you are new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the Flat Earth debate. If you would like to support this channel, there is a super chat that runs alongside the live show. And if you would like to join the debate live, there is a link in the info box below this video. Simply mute your watch page and then click that link to join the debate live. There are only a couple of rules. Number one, please do not swear. Number two, if you are ejected, please do not try to rejoin the show you will be warmly welcomed back on the next show with that i'm going to transition back to the debate and i have a question about that super chat um i've heard various things but i i would guess that you're familiar with it and would know what the breakdown of this is but Reasonably. i've heard different numbers about how much of the super chat goes to like the channel and how much youtube takes do you know that I thought it was 2%, but I read about it a couple of months ago. It may have changed. Only 2% YouTube... they take? No, YouTube takes like 30, I think. Okay. I, stand... I mean, I, I'm not 100% correct. I don't know. Let's put it that way. Huh. I know Von Helton My... said it, that he, YouTube took like 45%. So I honestly don't I, think it's it's anywhere yeah. near that high. But like I say, when when I read the terms of conditions a few months back, I I read it as being a couple of percent. But that may very uh, may very well have changed. Yeah. Well, you know that forty five percent means that if you give Von Helton a dollar, they take like uh, forty eight cents. Sure. Did you hear forty five percent equals forty eight cents on the dollar to Von Helton? If that's the case, yeah. But it would be 45 cents. 45 percent would be 45 cents on the dollar. He's throwing out numbers like 48. It's I'll just look it good up. Math. I'll put myself on mute. I'll have a quick look. Okay. Where did where did uh lying warrior go? Von Helton is the truth. Yeah. It says the YouTube creator all super chat contributions. What's that, Grum? It says the YouTube creator receives all Super Chat contributions. That doesn't make sense. They don't, they don't charge you anything. This is weird. That's not this right. Old. I'm pretty, I, I think it's right. 30 I've already read that, that, Yeah. Somewhere else. Let me find this something else. Sorry, I just. Here we go. February. This is from 2017, February 6th. This is a few months, uh, about a year old almost. Video uh, from a couple days ago called Spencer. Actually got five dollars. Eighteen and a half minutes that I spent e-begging. E-begging. <laughs> Sorry, I think that's funny. E-begging is a job now. Is actually 3.07 US dollars. 
I wanted to be an e-bagger before I did this whole poker thing. <laughs> Come on, just help spot me five. Spot me five. You can spot me five. Like I won't even bet against you. <laughs> I'm going to have to stop doing these awesome podcasts and bringing you this great info. If I don't get donations and I'm going to have to get a real job. Uh. <laughs> Shit. If you're making enough money on the donations then more power do you. If that's paying your rent. <laughs> <clears throat> or your mortgage, you're doing great. Yeah. Like a, um, a lot of Twitch streamers like they, they make ridiculous amount. I don't know. I don't know why. Like I, th- I think there must be something in pre-programmed into people to donate or something. I don't know why people give their money away to like someone who's just like playing a video game on the stream. But... I know it's weird. So weird. There was this one e-bagger who was like a gamer on YouTube and uh, he like, he took, he took the money he made and he went on a vacation within his own state. <laughs> okay. So sorry to interrupt you, P-Mars. I just want to, just want to get this out there just so I don't have to think about it anymore. So the, the ad revenue split, cause it goes into ad revenue. You can actually look it up and, and work out the percentage that YouTube take. And it's, it's 70, 30. So I get 70% YouTube take 30%. So I was wrong, and whoever said it was 20% was far closer than I was. There you go. I said 30. Well, you're bang on, P-Miles. Yeah. I think you said 30, yeah, percent. Oh, is that what you just said? Sorry, I'm... 70-30. Yeah, yeah. So if, if for the sake of I'm argument there was a, a $5 loud. donation, I would see $3.55 of it, and YouTube would get the rest. Crazy, yeah. That's not, you know... That's not as good as uh, just if you want to donate to Mr. Grim V's channel, if you want to donate, just go out and feed the closest homeless person near you. Uh, and thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Massive thank you oh, to Fanny no, Lancer no, for sticking money in the super chat. Much obliged. <laughs> so you get $14 <laughs> out of that. And you grab a guy a burger. Or a pound. Fucking Fanny. YouTube just got six. Pounds. Thank you, Fanny Lancer. You know you got to split that with the panel when you got a panel, right? Yep. You can all <laughs> send me a request. Yeah. <laughs> Break it down. I should really read his his comment, shouldn't I? Aren't Aunt to MI five paying you enough already? So he's even put it in a slightly Afro Caribbean <laughs> way of typing. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, MI5 don't pay me anywhere near enough. I mean, I don't work for MI5. Yeah, yeah. That's the ticket. <laughs> I don't know. I, I've seen a photo yeah, ID of your MI5 me. identification, so... Yeah, produced by the person who just put a super chat yeah. donation in. <laughs> wink, wink. He works for a paper mill. Wink, wink, wink. Paper mill? Yeah, that's me. So where's Anthony it's Riley gone? It's what's what's happened there? In my five cover, um, they transformed it to in my six now. So yeah. the paper mill excuse is getting old. But... Anthony Riley is at his desk <laughs> with his blow up doll, pretending it's a real woman. Hold on, hold on. Before you get into, I mean, I, I listen to most of your bullying him about his sexual exploits rather than addressing anything flat earth related. I let it slide because thanks oh, to Karen, yeah. she's. As, as I think it was P. Mars pointed out, she's put it out into what I put in quotation marks as flat earth. So therefore, it's very much a flat earth related subject. And for me, I, I wanted that to be aired because 
It's a credibility question. And what happened is exactly what will happen time and time again if people aren't 100% squeaky clean. Now, I've got a background, you could look into it, but I wouldn't like to think that you'd find any skeletons in my closet that I haven't already discussed. And when there are things like that that come about, it immediately robs you of your point. Now, Anthony Riley is exceptionally good at debating Flat Earth, I'm sure you will all agree. Whether or not you agree with his points is irrelevant. He can and does hold his own in a debate about Flat Earth. However, in this instance, he's come in and immediately been asked about his sex life. And that's that's kind of why I wanted that on there, to show that that's exactly what happens when people have these discussions on camera. So, unfortunately for Anthony, Karen has caused this problem. You know, whether or not you sympathise with her is irrelevant. You know, she has put it out into the public domain with Flat Earth in the tags. So, therefore, it is a Flat Earth-related subject, and it's robbed Anthony of his ability to debate the subject of Flat Earth in this arena, because you guys rightly or wrongly so, have immediately attacked that point rather than any of his flat earth points. And that's unfortunate. But, in my no, humble no. opinion, needed to be shown. I, the way I see I, it, I it, it, it is that his integrity was being questioned, which is, you know, when we're talking about pe honesty, and that's one of the most important things And when you're having an argument between two people is, is the other person being fair, reasonable, honest, or rational in the first place? Right, because who wants to have a, a discussion to try to find the truth with one guy lying or having ulterior motives if it, if his motives aren't for really about the truth? And of course, he's not going to even try to listen or allow for the um, other side of the conversation to, to. He won't concede to anything, even if it is. Well, we've been rejoined, Grim. In his we've face we've been rejoined so, by so Sleeping Warrior earlier. Uh, right. Like, now, so the fact that maybe, what is his motives? Is his motives just to continue feeding him. on the psychosis of weak-minded people? Nathan, was that comment prompted by what I just said about Anthony and the desk and the blow up doll? I've, I've, I didn't catch that about a blow up doll, but either way, no. You know, my, my motivation oh, yeah. here is to show flat earth related subjects, and I often put flat earth in All quotation right. marks when I talk about the gossip and drama. So that is a flat earth related subject to me. Now, whether or not Anthony chooses to answer your questions, I hope you will let him give his answer, even if that's I don't want to answer. But, you know, okay. there's three of you, one of him at the moment. So from that perspective, I will be more inclined to defend him quicker than you guys, just so you know. I, yeah, I just and want I to apologize. Out, my comment was in reaction uh, to what he posted in the chat at 7.34 a.m. my time, 12.34 p.m. your time. So I did not just bring that statement up out of the blue. That was in response to the stupid, childish freaking comment that he put in the chat acting like a little bitch yeah that's actually one of the things that you know you got to pay attention to because they'll fire you up in the chat and then come on and pretend to be all benign in the uh you know in the in the panel when in fact they're very malignant in the in the uh in the chat i agree you and know? for that reason you know, the chat is broadcast kind of people get to see exactly that grim yeah. So if there has been that, so, although I haven't paid much attention to it in the last five minutes, people get to see that. Well, let me let me let me respond to that point. So I'm being criticised for the comment that I made about getting sucked off by Mark Taylor's wife under the desk. Let's read some of the comments from Mark Taylor that prompted that. Riley's outside Karen P's White House wanking in a bush. Mark Taylor, I told you that's impossible. She's seen you. I'm not sure what that relates to. You got to uh, say who's I've... saying these comments though, because. Yeah, it doesn't matter, does it? Well, what's what matters? Yeah, so, is because I've never said any of those comments, and I'm on the panel, so I don't want to be reflected as one of the people that you are. Yeah, talking about. Here's my position. Here's my position. Nathan says that it's a flat Earth issue because Karen claims it is, right? I don't give a shit whether it Karen claims it is or it's not. It's clearly not because it's protected by the the um, the guidelines, the community guidelines well, I agree on with YouTube. You. It's a private no, thing. I agree with and you. Whatever the facts were or were not, I won't be discussing them with flat Earthers or or ball Earthers, either in public or in private. If I talk about so anything if it's in private, private, Riley, why are you going around saying I'm, yeah, I'm swinging? Joined by Mark Taylor. Good why time, I'm not saying Mark. Mark. I'm saying you're Why, why are you going around in chat saying I'm swinging? I'm not. I'm, I'm saying swinging you're in to see what's happening. I'm... You're making a big joke of it when Karen. Yeah, that's right. Because I... it perfectly cool it clear. You pestered her for sex. But the, according to so you, do you think that's acceptable, Anthony? Mark, I'm not even discussing it. Do you the only think thing that's that you acceptable, need to know, Anthony? Mark, is your your bill for twenty five twenty quid a month. So you think that's acceptable, do you? I'm not discussing well, not anything with you. Discuss it. Why are you discussing it? So, so, so you you're just a bit bit above a higher a paedophile than aren't you? Because that's what paedophiles do. Yeah, I'm rapist as well. If you want. 
Whoa, you said it, Lottie. He's quite the well, opposite no, no, of pedophile because she's like an old hag. Well, so. the word rape's going around yeah. in chat. The word pedophile's been mentioned and the word whatever the other words were. I ain't going to be discussing any of that. Oh, so do you think it's acceptable behavior to hassle a woman online for sex? I'm I said opportunist. So what bit of that don't you understand? Well, why'd you go around? Why'd you go around? Is it a bit like that eclipse thing, Matt, that you don't understand? Why'd you go around as if you're proud of it, Riley? Why because you go around chat saying I'm because just it's laughable, in to Mark. see what's happening? Because it's laughable. This oh, drama that's going on in flat earth right now is ridiculous. Sex. It's ridiculous. Well, is that laughable, is it? Mark, yeah, Mark, completely Mark, can, you him, laughable. can you let him address your points, Mark? It's completely and utterly it's completely and utterly laughable. The fact that whether whatever drama's going on in Flat Earth at this moment, yeah, it might be about me. Next week it'll be about Patricia again. Next week it'll be about Mark. But it goes round and round and round. And nothing gets talked about on the flat earth anymore because ballers have got no evidence to prove that the earth's a fucking ball. If we had curve or rotation hey. or gravity, then we would be talking about flat earth. Right, maybe, Anthony, maybe please, do please do not swear. Please do not swear. Because you test the people for sex. That's maybe why it's not being talked about. Because in a whole for 15, 16 months if, I've been involved you in flat earth, that way, I've never heard of anyone. Way, put it that way. I've never heard of anyone being pestered for sex. You was the first. So well done. You, yeah, at least I can still get it though, Mark. You've sunk, you've sunk flat earth to a new level, Riley. At least I can still get it, Mark. The uh, uh, host well, of, uh, uh, not really. I'm, I'm turned you turned you're down, a fucking you're a virgin. Saying, not really. You didn't get Oops. it, did you? Because she turned you down. The owner of uh, Truth Frequency so Radio was a part of this Oracle well, broadcasting back in the day. Turned down. If you say so, Mark. No, I did. Karen P did. He was doing the same thing that Riley. Like he was in. He was going to other hosts on the network and trying to get threesomes, trying to get girls to smoke DMT and do drugs. And then he's like, I'm going to worship you like a goddess, baby. Like, this is sick shit that goes on within these, like, feeding their psychosis. Truth exactly. media. And this guy, this guy owns Truth Frequency Radio. Now he's got, like, Mark's ponies on his, on his, but on his network. But what's that got to do with the debate? Anything or nothing? Your integrity, your motives. No, 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 no. It's not eyes integrity. It's called a private eyes life. It's an intimate private life. life. No, it's wouldn't... not private when you go around saying you're proud of it, Riley, right? no. is it? You wouldn't defend I mean, Twinkle Star videos as, we're, as we're, if they were if real. She, she, if she says and yes, you would have been even more fucking yeah, proud. You're trying to expose elite sex parties and you're taking part of them. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Well, not whether me. I did, Just, whether I did not take part he's, in He's not even taking part because he got turned down. Fuck, you know, he got turned down. Sorry, I swore once. Sorry. At the end of the day, I won't be discussing any part of it. This is my position. If Karen wants to talk about her private life, that's up to her. If Antonio wants to talk about his, that's up to him. If Patricia wants to talk about hers, that's up to her. Notice okay. that Patricia doesn't talk about it. I'm okay, taking good. the same position as Patricia. I'm not. Right, but it's too late. It. We already We're see that you're here. actually out here predatorializing on these girls for Fine. what? Fine. So that what that does is that just shows that your integrity cannot be trusted. Fine. Your motives for if, being if in the community think, may be other than the truth, especially since you're so willing to ignore very easy information. As far as it, if you're you happy to that, dismiss that, things, that's your prerogative. All right, let's strag it out from oh, the yeah, gutter and talk exactly about something right. flat earth. Yes. All right, Riley. Riley, that's a couple the... of months ago, we had a bet, yeah? You bet I mean, me just, a thousand pounds that being solar wired. eclipses happened every month, yeah? Yes, Mark. But now you're going around telling people the sun goes, the moon goes behind the sun. So yes, how, Mark, can, how, can it, how can it go behind the sun and still cause a shadow on an eclipse then, Riley? Well, because it doesn't cause a shadow, that's the point. So there's not an eclipse every month then, is there? Yeah, well, ah, that's, uh, that's a different point. You're no, answer. it's the same thing, point. Riley. We're talking about solar eclipses. Yeah, Your claim every... was there was one every month, Riley. Now no, your claim is the moon goes thing, behind Riley. the sun. So yeah, sorry. How, how can it go sorry to interrupt, guys. Month? Sorry to interrupt. Grim and Curved, can you just let them thrash it out? It's just I can hardly hear what they're saying. I know you want to yeah, get your points in, but just speak. for now. Right. Thank you. My position, the, the, the original argument was that the moon passes in front of the sun every month on the, eclipse, on the uh, heliocentric model. You would not accept that. Your argument was, no, it doesn't do it directly. My argument was, yes, it does, because it still passes between the earth and the sun from our perspective. Then it became a bit an issue about where, the, where, where was the shadow being cast. And the issue was, if it's cast into space, that does not count as an eclipse. But it passes in front of the sun every month 
They were the words I used. I played the words I used back in the video and I've played it over and over and over again. I was very clear and concise in the response video to your claim that you won the thousand pound. You didn't win the thousand pound. You just didn't win it. Your own model does exactly what I said it did. And it isn't my position. So you're saying now then, so you're saying then the moon goes behind the sun and yes. in front of the sun. No. On so your when does model, the moon go? No, no, your... no. It's not about my model. What, yes, Riley. it is. You said. No, Riley, you didn't hold, say Hold on, Anthony. Just let, him, just let him respond, models. Anthony. You said, you, I bet you a thousand pounds that we get a solar eclipse every month. Yeah. So that, that means it, it happens. So, I showed it you on the animation. So when does the sun, when does the moon go behind the sun, Riley? Oh, it doesn't on your model. But in the real world, it seems to. Real what quick, well, Anthony uh, also specified that the, we don't see those eclipses because they usually occur over the ocean. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and uh, Nathan, is it possible I can send you a clip that we can play, which is the actual bet? And you can hear Riley exactly what he says. He yeah, says but hang on, that, hang on, Mark. He says that, no, hold up. You shut up. You've been talking for about 20 minutes. Let me talk. So, so we can actually hear what he said the bet was. And the but bet was, I bet you a thousand pound that solar eclipses happen every month. And the reason sometimes we don't see them is because the shadow hits the earth and hits the ocean. He didn't say anything about the shadow going into space. Yeah, he didn't it did. say he anything about video. shadows going into space at all. That was the bet. And then he welched on the bet. Now he's well, trying to claim that the moon goes behind the sun. So let me send you the clip, Nathan, and you can play it. You need to play the response I'll... video if you're going to play part of, a, part of the thing. What? No, it's what? So you can yeah. change the bet in the response video? No, no because no. I've played the words that I said in the vi in the video, in the response video. No, I've got video. the words you said. I've got the whole bet here. I'm going to send no, it you to Nathan. Now. I've got the evidence. You don't have any evidence. By I have got evidence. You're I've a got bomb. evidence of your lying and your, your dishonesty, Riley. If you don't no, like no, it, that's not what Sorry I'm again to interrupt, just so we're not going back and forth continually. Maybe if, Mark, you can start and clarify the bet. Please don't interrupt him, Anthony. And then if you, there's anything that's, you know debatable then you can debate it yes the bet was we get solar eclipses every month on the earth the reason yeah. we don't see them is because the shadow hits the ocean and nobody's there to see them that was the bet no it wasn't there was no mention of shadows there was no mention of anything else okay anthony feel free to tell him that how it's not correct <laughs> I've given the video response video, Nathan. Will you just play it and let it play out so everybody can see it in you, black and white? To, exactly you're welcome to play I... it. So if you've got a video to play, I'll present you. Is it? There we go. Pardon? So it looks like there's Mark. Is it presenting a video or not? No, it's not me. That's Mr. Grimm. That's Grimm doing it. Oh, sorry. Oh, I just wanted to show you that it really is the moon that goes in front of the sun. For the flat earthers that try to tell you it's not at new moon. There's the moon right there. You can see that it's the moon. There yeah, but how can you not tell? Sun. How how can you be sure that that's not translucency from behind? Are you kidding me right now? No, I am absolutely serious. Because how I can you exactly. prove? How can you prove that's not translucency from behind? Translucency because it's black what? when you look at it. You have to look at it through the through the, uh, the exposure of this camera set to with a solar filter on it during. But that the doesn't prove time. whether the moon's passing behind or in front. How can you be sure that's it's the front right translucency front. of what? It definitely does. There's no translucency. It's completely dark. The only reason you can see it is because the camera is set to allow that sort of exposure so that you can All actually right, Grim. see it. Just you type in the words. With your naked eye. Have you ever Grim. tried to see the moon actually with your naked eye? Type in the words new moon. The very bright corona of the sun. Grim. The eyes Listen, Grim. Open. Type in the words new moon. Go to the Wikipedia link that I cited that's in the, the video. the other side. New moon is on the other side of the planet. No. No. No, it isn't. Yeah, this yeah. is the new moon phase. Well, yeah, I mean, but it's still a. So what, a what was that? You were wrong. With a full, uh, solar eclipse, though. Was this wrong? So does that mean that you were wrong? Then did you make a mistake? Well, yeah, just did. So what? Right. So just correct the position. This is the new moon stage, right? Uh, now, will yeah. you type in the words "new moon"? Go to Wikipedia and bring up the article on "new moon" on Wikipedia. Why? Because in there, there's a citation that I want to show you that what the problem with what you've just shown is. Make, so pre bring up the new point. moon. Nathan, make present him to everyone so he stays on. Phase of the moon, when it's a conjunction with the sun and invisible from yeah, the but Earth. Open, open up the shortly Wikipedia. thereafter, when it appears as a listen, slender Listen, crescent. listen, open up the Wikipedia link. Third one down. Well, that makes perfect sense. 
Yeah, it does make sense, but look at the evidence. Open up the okay, link. Wikipedia, Wikipedia. Yeah, open up the link. Make sure we know what Wikipedia is. Go Scroll ahead. down a little bit. In in the top paragraph there, it says at note one, it says the moon. Listen, listen. Earth, as it is at this moment when the moon and the sun have the same eclipse, uh, elliptic uh, longitude. Yeah, the, the moon is not visible. Now click note one. So follow the citation at note one. Well, I mean, it is visible. It's just not lit up visible. Because right, I it mean, says it's, it's not visible. visible. To pinpoint on where its location right. is. Just, just and, follow and, the link at note one. You're not even going to listen to what I'm saying? Just follow the link at note one. I want to see the. I want to show you the evidence that contradicts what you've shown. Click note one. Note one. And then it says it talks about the unaided eye, like I just said. Yeah. Its actual phase is very thin crescent, but the moon does not pass directly in front of the sun. Right. That's now that's a very let... thin crescent that you just didn't even think about right there. Hang on. Hang the on. The reason you Don't cannot see gun. that. Don't the jump the gun, stick with me. Wait, stop interrupting. Me. The only reason oh. you can't see that is because during the daylight, yeah. the sky is actually brighter than the light that's All coming right. from the so one little tiny go. crescent of the moon. Go so to there's no Grim, right. listen. Follow the link. That's go why to the Ash. unaided eye. But you, you see, too. it says there, Rolly, to the unaided eye. That means no, you can be seen with the equipment. Evidence. This is go not the unaided stroke. eye. Listen. So you're not making a point. No, I'm this trying to. You're not, not letting me. This is not the unaided eye. Right. <laughs> you're not letting you lie. Grim. Well, can you, from an can you just let Grim him make Riley, his... Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Just let him make his point concisely and yeah, then challenge yeah, it, just so the audience can hear what his point is. Right, Grim, listen to me. It broke apart horridly. Grim, please. Grim. Just give him Just give him 60 seconds just to make his point yes. concisely. Oh, no, that's not I did. Go ahead. Go to astrophotography.fr, the link that was at um, that, that note one. Wait, that, let's... Click, Go, go to the link. Let's see the evidence. Click the astrophotography.fr link. You may have to type it in manually because it didn't work when I last tried it. So you're going to ignore the unaided eye bit then, Riley? No, we're going to look at the evidence that supports... What does unaided mean, okay, Riley? Unaided Forget that. Look at, let's look at the evidence that supports... What does unaided that? mean, Riley? All right, to the unaided eye. All right, what does unaided that's the mean? first... That's the first thing you need to realize what you're talking about right there. Unaided eye. That means they're not talking about to about cameras with solar filters. I, I understand that. That's not the okay. point I'm making. Let's so, go to the evidence. I'm showing you a picture of a solar filter on a camera so that you can see beyond the contradictions that your eye would not be able to pick up, being that this is so bright and that well, is not... so dark in front of it. Right, Nathan, would you show me then so I can show it? Because obviously Grim's not going to do it. Yeah, no problem. I'm already doing it. I've been showing it. No. no. Uh, oh, you're talking about click on the link at the bottom. Recorded new moon crescent. Right there. Right. Uh-huh. And what's your big problem with this? Wanting something with me. Sex. What's your problem with this? I'm trying to figure this out. What's what's right. the problem? If you'd let me speak, I'll talk you through it. That picture <laughs> is supposed to be the first new moon after the lunar cycle. And where's the where's the moon in the picture? It's right there. Oh where? my god! Where's the moon? It's right in front of you. Where is it? Show me. I've got to be you're honest. Not I'm not seeing a moon there. What? So, so you're expecting to see the whole moon there, right? Are you? I'm not right. seeing anything. Like, this if, this... When it clearly says in the model that you won't see that. Yeah, but this I is think the point. He thinks he's looking at and stars. The whole intention of the picture. No, 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 no. I, I think the whole he intention of the picture, Riley, was to That's get what this the, is. Moon, Look, uh, the moon. Can you let me talk for a second, please? Since he's talking directly to me and all of yes. this, and I'm the one. Right. Yeah, okay. Let... Thanks. I think he thinks he's looking at stars. I think you think, Riley, that you're looking at stars, aren't? Don't you? These okay. Quick, sparkly things. Press These control are stars and you aren't... Grim, Just listen. Answer the question. No, Do you think well, this is a proper representation of what the sky was looking like right now? Do you think right. that's stars that you're looking at? Do you think you're right. seeing through the moon right now? Is that what you're trying to say? Point to me where the moon is. <laughs> Holy shit. Where's the moon? That? Point to, listen, Grim, uh, uh, point to where the moon is. Right here. Where? No, that's the light from the moon. Where's the moon? This is where it is, right here. No, that's like Santa. That's not real. There's nothing there. No, this is actually where the moon is. What you're looking at... No, no, no. It, no. There's no, no moon there, Grim. You're going to interrupt me every time I talk? You don't yes. have an argument. That's why. No, no, no. You, you don't have you evidence. You I don't gave have you 60 evidence. seconds, right? 
And now you don't have your, evidence to prove that the sun the moon slap him down for a moment, you put him in his place. I don't need to do this crap with him like this. Yeah, All right, agree. Just, just, talk, let, just let Mr. Grimm I already gave Mr. Grimm explain. He said about three seconds. times we can't see him there. Respond. I'll slap you up. Just whoa, 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 calm down. Just let Mr. Grimm explain why I can't see a moon there. So stupid. Don't realize that this is not a proper representation of what the sky looks like right now. This is through a filter so that you're seeing the light. Uh, 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 in a Grim, uh, completely different out. way. The exposure that you're okay. looking at right here is All not right. so that you can see through the moon. That's why this is scroll a background out. color right now that you're looking yeah, at. Yeah, that's the point. It's a background it's color, but it's meant to be a rock. Precise moment of the new moon. The precise moment of the new yeah. moon in full daylight at yeah. 7 hours and 14 minutes UTC on July 8, right. 2013. Okay, Nathan, and this Nathan. youngest possible crescent, the age of the moon at this instant being exactly zero, celestial north is up in the image as well as the sun. The irregular, uh, irregular uh, larities, it's very tiny print, and discontinuities, discontinuities are caused by the, re the, re the relief and the edge of the lunar disk, mountains and craters. That's why it's all right, you know, it looks, Nathan. That's why they're saying skippity, skippity and stuff right there. Nathan, could you could you please present me so that I can make my points? Because obviously Grim's not going to do it for me, so I'm going to have to do it for him. Oh yeah, I'm not going to. Riley, the whole intention of the picture was to capture the fucking newest moon. The no swearing, please. Slice. Yeah, yeah, but where that is the, the moon? Whole, that was the whole where? point, Riley, to catch the yeah, finished the, slice of fucking. There's no moon there, though. Where's oh, the moon? Shut the fuck up. Where, where's the moon Riley, going, Riley? The point is, you cannot see the moon because it's at the same exposure rate. It's too no. bright in front of you. Right, let me get right. this one point in, please. Anthony's right. argument is that when you turn off the lights and it's too dark to see anything, nothing is there. No, right. my point is yes. he's, he's we all an idiot. The we sun all is people. behind the moon, okay? The sun is behind the moon. The That's not what they're moon, saying. The back of the moon is fully lit up. The sun is right outside of this picture. Right no. outside of the picture. So it's, it's so not. bright right here. And this it's so bright behind the moon it's so much darker in front because you cannot see the moon that's why you cannot see it it's so bright all the light coming now if they were to um uh magnify it to or use this filter they would have saw been able to see the moon right and it's full but they're just showing you through that filter the very edge of the crescent the lightest of way of it. That's why you don't see the actual sky. These aren't the stars out here, and these are not the stars in here. Okay? This is the exposure of the camera. This is daylight turned dark. This is daylight exposure down. All right, in a camera. You got to recognize what you're looking at. Uh, right. It's funny right. when you guys say, well, the moon is transparent. Where's the moon? Where's the moon? Where's right. the moon? Can I have a, can right I respond? Here, there, you can see the light from the back of it right there. That's how you can detect it. I've just, right. Can I respond, please? Nathan, yeah, I've just you just popped your screen on now, Anthony, so you're now presenting. All right. Let me speak uninterrupted because I want to get the point and the context across here because it hasn't been portrayed and it's been misrepresented. The gentleman's trying to look at this section of the sky. He's looking at the sun that's in the middle and he's looking at the moon that is not directly interchanging with the moon, uh, the sun. Okay. Now, He's using this kit. The guy's got a proper kit, okay? He's not got a P900, and if you look into the actual kit, he, he itemizes exactly what he's using. These, these, um, this hardware is expensive, okay? He's looking like that. He's not looking at the sun. He's looking at the area near to the sun where the moon is. And when he looks at the moon, that's all he gets. And the only evidence that he's able to achieve is the rim of light that's either hitting the top of the sun at the moon or... Well, what, what do you not see there? Now, what should you see on the on the ball earth body? No, no, hang on, hang on. I already explained to you. That's just exposure, dude. Yeah, I, I I know what you said, but that isn't what the reality is. Let me show you. Sure it is. This, this is what we should expect based on um basically a re-render of the exact same scenario. This is a distant uh, sun reflecting its light off a very close moon. That's how much light we should have got at that exact moment on the on your model. That's not what we see on the evidence. The evidence why, is showing. Why, why should we? That, see that? Is what, that is what we see. It's it isn't. 
the exposure. Why? You're not understanding the exposure. It's no, not no, you're not close. understanding. Light. No, it's not a very close moon because the moon is not in our atmosphere. Okay, the moon is not in the glow of our atmosphere as you are so predicting it to be in your very close experiment. Based on what, what is Anthony okay, again? The moon is in space. It is dark out there. The moon is not in our glow of our atmosphere. You Agreed. keep on trying to portray this thing as as if it's another way around. That's not no, no, no. I'm not for science. No, I'm, you're being clownish. No, I'm marrying. Actually, trying to say you're trying to I'm, say a very close moon. No, no, no. Right? What I'm saying is know, about 200. I don't know you, what you think very close is, but. You know, what I'm saying is, if you put, what I'm saying is, if you put your hand up in the sky, it will cast a shadow on the ground. So what we can dude. use, what we can do is we can use the information that we've got off this guy's website that he's cited the, the sun and the moon in this position in the sky, and we can put the sun at 93 million miles away, the moon at 260,000, and we can get what we should see on the heliocentric model, which is this. But what Why? we see, Why because should that, we be able to see that in the lighting conditions? Physics, bro. Physics, in the bro. light conditions, oh, really? why should we be able to see that? It's been, it's been modeled on Blender, and if you don't agree with it, show us how it's been oh. done wrong. So oh, that's oh, physics. By whom? It's been modeled on Blender. By yeah. whom? That, that went, that, I thought you guys said CGI is not allowed. We're doing it to see what physics <laughs> tells us what light. Anyway, so um, sorry to be... Yeah, but can you also see the problem is... Like that. Can no, you I also, see where the problem is, but it's just that you don't. Because no, 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 no. Is, can you also see? Again. Can you also see that there's a light? Now, hang on, I'm not. I can actually see the moon, right? Yeah, and but you can't it's... see the moon there, can you? Right here, you can. No, you can't. You can only see the yeah, outline of where the moon is. No, this is a different filter than what you're being, what you're seeing over there. All right, let me show you what it should look like from something. our perspective. What camera? What camera is being used for this picture? Grim. Let me show you what it should look Wait, like. Wait, what camera our... and what filter? Do you even know? Do you even know if this is a radio camera telescope? What is this that's looking at this moon? It was this using infrared, I believe. This yeah, is how it doesn't look like it looks like infrared, actually. This is like how other than this is how we should see the moon passing in front of the sun. If you just gotta ignore we... my question, yeah, because it's it's distraction, it's irrelevant. No, it's not. It's actually what kind of camera is being used, is and what kind of observation. Why you're not seeing the moon here is could be very easily explained by the kind of camera you're using, dude. So it's not yeah. just a distraction, is it? Yeah, it can be explained, but no, that doesn't mean it's yeah. that doesn't mean it's proved, okay, does so it? Tell me which camera we're using here before On you make your, you can't make a valid assertion without knowing what kind of camera is being used, my friend. So you can all hang on a minute. fanatical hang on. answers. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Really know. Your claim is that the moon passes in front of the sun. No. Yeah, I'm showing you evidence that doesn't support that. And you're not, you're just dismissing it based on I'm what showing you an actual photo of it happening. No, you're not. You're showing me a rendered image what is of this? it. Happening. Look at your camera. It's not a rendered this? image. This is not an altered image, friend. Those are Give photographs. me two minutes. I'll be straight back. Those are photographs. Funny thing is, it's trying to highlight the actual plasma that you're seeing there in those magnetic field lines. See that? Right, I'm back. Well, um, I've lost the uh, hangout link. So, what are you showing now? Yeah. See gravity. Oh, we're off air. No, no, not no. FA, not at all. I might use it as an opportunity to do a quick link, though, as there's been a bit of a dead silence. So. All right, the equipment, the Canon 200 millimeter f2.8 lens, Canon 60D. There it is. This image, it's a camera. It's, this image shows the solar corona and the first magnitude stars regulus on the side of the image. So... Your assertion is that the moon passes in front of the sun. And I asked you, how can is you... Is it an assertion or is it an empirical fact? Once you take a fucking a freaking photo of it... Well, it's an assertion. Yes. And, it's, you're, and you're, clips, you're basing yeah. it on... It's an assertion based on what the evidence that you accept to be true. But That's right. And this is I the asked evidence. You, yeah, but I asked you... It's definitely I, good evidence. Yeah, but I asked you, how could you be sure that it wasn't a translucent disc passing behind? And you laughed at me. 
I then showed you evidence that didn't show you a moon using expensive equipment from an astrophotographer that did not show any evidence that there was a celestial body in front. I then showed you what it should look like based on okay. known physics. Okay, stop and talking. You just, all right, and you I'll, I'll show all you that. right now. I'll show you right now exactly how you know that that's not the case. Okay, it'll be really simple too. And I hope you don't get embarrassed by this. But let me get my flashlight out for you. And I can show you. I'll put the flashlight in front of my head and then behind my head. And you don't see the light because the light is behind my head. Yeah, but you've, got, you've gone very quiet, Grim. Confused. Sorry to interrupt. You've got you've gone very quiet. I didn't catch that last statement. He was okay. trying to show he was trying to show us that light doesn't pass through inan uh, tangible objects, which is quite true. The opaque objects do not allow light through them. But I asked you, how could you be certain it wasn't a translucent disc blocking the light from the sun? And you haven't shown evidence that supports that yet. A translucent disc you don't, blocking you don't make the light sense. from the sun. Think a translucent that, disc would not allow for there to be um, the darkness that's having, that we're calling the eclipse on the spots where it shows darkness in the first place. The assertion is lucent. Do you not understand yeah. what you're saying there? Yeah, I do understand, but you're obviously not understanding what I'm saying. No, I, a translucent disc is you can basically see light through it, right? Yeah, in a variable gradient. It's not a set okay. of gradients. Yeah, right. So, so you understand that we understand we have the the chemical makeup of the material that's on the moon, right? No, we don't. How do we have that? Yeah, we do light spectrum analysis. What do oh, you mean right. we so, don't? Yeah, have you have you not seen Nathan's video about transpecular? Uh, what is it? Trans transsexual spectroscopy, whatever it's called. Transsexual spectroscopy. Yes. Yeah, because you're using that sort of, uh, is that supposed to be a joke? No, I'm serious. How do you know what the moon is made of when you aren't able to get there and say, hey, this is what the moon, I mean, what is it made of? Is it made of moon dust? Moon rocks? <laughs> Petrified wood? Yeah, yeah, all of that stuff. Moon right, rocks. Really? Riley, are you claiming yeah. the sun is translucent rocks. when the moon passed behind it? No, I'm saying that this photograph the moon behind the sun. I'm right. saying the I'm evidence saying. that the sun is also invisible. No, no, listen, let me answer. The I'm sun saying is translucent too. Do you see how you how broken you are, dude? Like your rationale is not working. It doesn't. No, work. no, 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 no. My rationale is working, but you're dismissing but, the evidence. No, I'm I'm not, saying, there's no you. evidence. You're not just showing any evidence. You keep saying the word evidence. Dude, no, I've just wild, shown man. you that an astrophotographer was unable to show that there was a moon in the foreground. No, that's not evidence. It wasn't. You don't even know what kind of. You don't even know what kind of camera he was using. What difference does it make? It's credible evidence. What do you mean? It's not credible What's evidence that? when you don't know what kind of camera it is, because it could have been. If it's it was scratch. any kind of camera, there's lots of different reasons why you wouldn't be able to see what you right, think. So you're if, able to see. if I look through his website, and I find you're not looking at any stars. Yeah. Look at that. You think you're looking at stars right there? Hey, check this out, dude. You think you're looking at stars for real in that in that little picture? Well, let's look on the uh, star calendar. Let's look on the star chart for any stars that match uh, these stars, this star pattern here. It We're should be easy to do, right? Look, you, well, you think that you're looking at stars, obviously, because you think that we're seeing through the moon right here. No, I never that's said anything about your stars. Face. No, it's no, not. You're, you're, no, 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 you're not understanding. You're not understanding. Your moon is translucent, right? No, I'm asking you, how can you be certain it's Earthshine on the moon that's passing in front when it can easily and equally be explained by a translucent disk passing behind the sun and, no, and the can. sun receives its light? Yes, it can. Imagine no, the sun torch. Yes, it, it absolutely cannot be explained, and especially not so easily and just offhandedly. And you know, as if well, I've just, just shown you the evidence that shows no, no there is no evidence. You're trying to say that there's somehow magically a plexiglass moon up there. No, what I'm saying is there's no evidence is, of the moon. Or the sun is plexiglass and we can see through it. Where's the moon? Just show One me the, the other. Moon in that picture. One or the other. They're both ridiculous. If you think you can see through the sun, why can't you see through the sun all the time? Grim. Show yeah. me where the moon what is. is in that in translucent? Yeah, why, why does all of a sudden oh, now the moon show you something? Venus because goes behind the, the sun. Mercury the goes behind the sun. How come we don't see them go behind the sun? You made the assertion that the moon passes That's in front of the do. sun. And I'm asking how you know that. The eclipse photo shows you. Right. But what does the it. eclipse photo he's show? Asking, you, you can it tell he's, he's not ingesting this new evidence right here that he's never seen before in his life. You can what tell it's not working on. It's not working. It's obfuscating. Yeah, no, I'm not. This, I'm not. This right here is everything you're trying to I'm say. Right here. Listen, I'm saying there's Look, two pieces of contradictory pieces right of evidence. How do you know which one's right? Because this one actually tells you what kind of camera they used. You don't right. have it's completely evidence here. That is not, no, that is it's not. No, it's not at all. This one definitely has much more evidence supporting it than you. 
Okay, so let me find out what right. camera the guy used, okay? Give me two seconds. That a boy. That a boy. And now again, we're going to flat earthers to start fly. doing some real research if you like it or not. <laughs> well, Riley, please fly, specify it what really you're really calling really translucent. Funky lesson right now, and I'm glad you're doing it. Let's ahead, talk about how this camera. translucent disc blocks the light of the sun. Say that again. Let's talk about how the translucent disc blocks the light of the sun. Okay, hang on. Right, the guy gives, if you scroll down, Grim, he gives his instrumentation. It tells you exactly what he's using in the picture. So just scroll down. It's below the, um, the sky map picture. Yeah, just go a little bit below. Uh, hang on, are we on the... Just go back up to the top. Hang on, am I looking on the right screen here? I think I might be on the wrong oh, screen. Oh, you read. You're reading the English version. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Are you looking at what I'm doing? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not actually trying English to find. English is what my happened. third language. Ah, uh, that might that might uh, explain why it is that you're not understanding what I'm saying. Yeah, right. So on screen now, if you go back to the Thierry site where you were asking about the um, what camera did he have? Yeah, scroll down below the sky map. Oh, can you translate that? To, oh, well, it tells you in there what that that paragraph that's in there that tells you what he's using. Now, how does that make it any stronger or weaker? Okay, where does he tell me what I'm using? What he's using? Where is this? You appear to be it's seeing very it. Very crescent line of the new moon. Cannot let me see. I gotta. Hang on. Maybe maybe scroll up. Scroll up because it's on mine. It's right below the um, sky map. There you go. Instrumentation. Instrumentation. FSQ. Okay. There you go. There's your problem. You don't even know what this is. Check this out. Why is that my problem? This is. Yeah, it is. Why? It matters. You well, but why is it? Why is it? Why is it my problem? Because you're removing particular wavelengths that you would be able to see with your naked eye. Even how do you know that? Prove that statement to be true. I'm about to right now, bro. All right, All right. Then. Yeah, what you're working with before you start making crazy ass statements. Well, let's just see the evidence, dude. Oops. <laughs> see, obviously, that's how it's done properly. Oh, where did I just go from? So your claim is at this point that he's removing waves of light that well, would ordinarily uh, allow the moon to be seen. a filter that isn't picking up as many. Um, well, you, you actually said it was removing the wavelength of light. Well, right, that's what it does when the filter doesn't pick up the other. It's, it's oh. actually allowing for the removal of because it's so, not picking up the sensor. I, I tell you what I'll do. I'll, have, I'll look for what wave light the moon uh, transmits the light towards us, and you can look up the wavelength of, of what that's Focal supposed to be. Reducer. That that's literally focal reducer is literally you know that's, that's... <laughs> low pass monochrome red low pass all of these things indicate whole thing on mute <laughs> did a link on mute what an idiot <laughs> all of these things indicate but don't prove let's get the proof we'll see what these things do according to you well obviously look what they do they cut out your image this this what you this is a picture of the moon. So you say, but prove it. Let's see what the actual wavelength of the moon well, he is. He just told you it was the present picture of the moon. The moon does no. not have Is he denying that this length. is the moon? No, no, there's no moon there, dude. You can't say it's a moon if there's no moon there. It's a new moon. It is a moon there, dude. Because Where? when you turn off the lights, the camera does disappear. Up. It's not there. Right. right. Do, you, do, you want to, do you understand what happens if you put your hand in front of your face? No, you're you're talking about well, my hand right. is not in outer space. My hand is in the same atmosphere as my face. But you understand that there's a, a, Dude, you're a being dim-witted right now. No, no, no. A cosmic lunar landing pad in you space. Can't go hand in front of your face arguments. That's 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 the kind of no, stuff but, it's like insulting. You're being No, but silly. you do understand that it's blocking the light from the sun, right? Somebody, right. And, and you understand it's blocking it. light from the sun. It's called a shadow. Right? Obviously, you don't understand what the big deal is about the the difference. No, you're but you're, you're obviously not understanding. Up. When your atmosphere rock. lights up, your whole atmosphere is lit up, dude. Not just the boy, the light that comes from the sun. 
Yeah. Right, so you don't why is see it a bright light light. coming from the sun like a laser beam, do you? No. You're why is it not really light? Can you stop talking long enough to learn something? No, because you're gish galloping with bullshit. Probably not. Gish gallop. I'm telling you, you the physics of why blue light scatters more than red light. Why the tell sky is blue and bright tell in me, the first place. Tell me the physics of opaque. I am. Yeah. What, what does opaque mean? All right. What does what? what, does, what, what uh, yeah. Like a yeah. So opaque. Blue. Yeah, it's so black and light. It's not translucent or iridescent. Correct. So where's the evidence where? of an opaque landing pad that we can land a rocket on in the image that I've just shown you from an astrophotographer? This is not, dude. Dude, you're showing this a camera with a the filter that will show you this image in broad daylight. So prove that's true. When you take a picture of the moon, right, I'm doing it right now. Silly. Okay. Well, I, what you prove this isn't from this camera. You prove that this new moon crescent. From July isn't from the new moon. So you yeah. think that this guy's lying? Where's the crescent from? No, I'm saying you're lying. This guy is. How can I be lying? From? This guy, Where? I don't care what this guy's saying. He's still Where just is the crescent <laughs> from Riley. You just dismiss it because it's cognitive dissonance and you Riley. won't accept evidence contrary to your opinion. What do you want? No, to? that's not true at all, dude. Where? You're dismissing. Where? Is that's not true at all. You're dismissing from. the fact that is this that? is a filtered camera. This is an image. You, you no, I, what, I accept so, that. Do you think you're looking that. at the stars? Are these twinkly lights? These are the no, stars no, no. in space? Is that I what you accept. thought? And then no, when no, you no, look I, through it, you think you're seeing through the I moon accept, right there? I accept your filter point. I'm asking you to prove that the wavelength of light from the, the moon is being blocked by that filter. That's what you said. Visually, uh, you can what see that it is. Does. No, you can't. There's no Obviously, moon. The sensor did no not pick moon. it up. What? There's why no is moon. there a crescent yeah. there, Riley? Did not pick it up because we're seeing the light. There's too why much there, noise there, in front of. All right, let, let me ask you this: If that was a ten pence piece, your listen, problem. listen, listen. If it was a ten pence piece and it was only lighting right up right next to the sun, you got to realize he is right in this bright ass little spot right here in the sun. The He's clearly not. The right. moon isn't right here like it is in this picture. It's really back, right here. Go right? back to so no, no, no. Bright. Go down on his image. Show where the where the moon and the sun is. Exactly. Go back to his page, show exactly where it is on that sky map. Let's see how the close proximity is to your argument, and let's see if that statement is true. Go down on an image. Come on, man. Look, see how much bigger this image is? The Go back to the... this big in this image, right? Grim, grim. Go back right? to the image of the sky map, and let's see the proximity of the sun. Scroll Look. down a little bit. There you go. You see how oh. big? No, 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 Stop no. Talking. Scroll down. Stop talking. Stop talking. No. All right. Scroll no, no, down. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. You're making the point it that it's in close proximity. Move down. We'll show that it's not. Close proximity. Move down. What? Let's go to the sky map. You tell me how close that is to the sun there. That's well, the sky he's I'm looking I'm talking at. about from your perception on Earth from this video, we're right? close to the sun. It is we're not. really close. Right, it, not close as far as like next door to it, as far as m inches and well, miles. No, that's what close as said. far as it's in front of you. It's in the yeah, bright area of the light no of the sun from your view. Okay, it isn't close meaning it's it's close to the brightest edges of the sun that you can see as from your perception right there. So, so it's right here. Do you realize how bright it is? Have you ever tried well, to look near the sun with your I've naked eye? You that, I've just shown you that it's not right there. No, you didn't actually. I did go back to the sky map and then you can tell me that I'm wrong. Okay, I'll tell you you're wrong. You're still wrong. Scroll down. Scroll down to the sky map. Is that right next to the sun or is that miles away in the sky? Oh, come on. It's not right next to it. You said it was right next yeah, to nobody's it. Nobody's saying that. Nobody not. Stupid. I just well, said it's not burns. right next to the sun. Now you're no, being you, stupid. No, you I didn't said it's say crossing it. in front of the light. Perceptually, it's next to the sun. Perceptually. No, no, from, no, no, no. I said from the location on Earth, the observer's location. Yes, I did, dude. Don't try to no, play games not. with me. I you said it was right you next to it. Dude. You pointed uh, into the corona of the done, sun, dude. and that's you, not where it is. I can't believe you even have a, a freaking channel. Actually, I can't. You said it was in the corona of the sun. You, I can't believe it. I really Nathan, can't. can you settle it? What did he actually say? Obviously, the sun. Obviously, the sun is up here, right? Because there's the light from it. Okay. No, I've just shown I'm you where the sun is, and it's nowhere near it. No, you can't say nowhere near it. They're only a few degrees away. Right. right. This is it's not in the corona of the sun. Look, it's look, not. look, look. See how big this is? Look. Uh, in yeah, this I picture, understand. In this Can picture. No, you don't. Broken? Obviously, you don't understand that this is much bigger, right? What is the crescent? Yeah, oh, this picture is much bigger than that one. So this is yeah, a I huge, understand. giant. Look, the whole yeah. moon wouldn't yeah. even fit 
on my page. Okay. So th th this much distance right here, this much distance right here is only right. this much distance right here. Okay. That much distance you were just looking at is only that much distance. So when I say it's right here or right there, I'm only talking about how close it is to the brightness of the sun. I'm not talking about exactly where it, the location oh, to right. the left, to the right, to the up, so to the down, because that doesn't matter, obviously. It right absolutely now. matters. You're it saying only it's matters, right close well, to the it sun, only matters. And it's because, demonstrably not the case. It yeah, shows I'm where the sun granting, is. No, it's not demonstrably anything other than it is. other than where I said it was. Look, Grim. see, there's the light from the sun. Let, the sun is up here. Let me ask you another question. What is back what? here? You got to think about further back because the light yeah. from the sun, right, is actually yeah. on the back of the moon. Exactly. Yeah. That's why oh, the moon man. cannot be in front of it. You don't understand. Oh. Angles, do you? The no, moon is way you in front like. of the sun. Way in front because the I moon is next to the earth couple hundred right. thousand miles away and a half right so Grim. the sun 93 million miles away much further yep. away so the angle of perception for you you would try to make a magic trick and say well the sun is not from this perception right behind no no no, no 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 magic right. but in fact it is it. actually behind it is behind no, us no 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 stop you can see my screen right yeah. now because i'm talking and nathan's not sharing me so whilst i'm talking i get my screen shared this that is doesn't what we matter should, we should it's be seeing this Grim. If what you're Obviously. saying is true, if the moon no, passes, we, in front, should, we that's nothing, what we should dude. See. You, right. you're confused, okay? You're no, not I'm not confused. No, you're just really you are. Really, goes, I have your opinion you, you because, you are, because you're just being a denier. You're like Stop. Brenda von Hassen. Stop. No, actually, you're no, supposed to expose for the earth yeah. shine with the sun in the shot like that, Riley. Say that Come again. On. How are you what? supposed to expose for earth shine with the sun in the shot like that? I'm saying that that's what we should be seeing from the moon. Clearly, should, just, you don't listen, know listen. what you're doing other than lying. That's no, all you know that you're no. doing. Actually, you you're building my you're building my it. ego and my self-esteem. You're swelling my head up. You're making me think I'm so smart, dude. When people hey, like guys. you come on and do this kind of stuff, you really, you really, you you really you swell guys, me up in the top. You guys right? are using consensus and majority against me to try no, and it's prove not about majorities and consensus. I don't agree with the most reality of the stuff is curve water talks about the reality is. Actually, we can do shadows. We know how shadows work. We can do light. We know how light works, and we can do proximity. We know how proximity works. And when the you, evidence that we, the moon I know you don't the sun yet. is not the, the the moon did not pass in front of the sun. Evidentially, it passed behind. Your evidence well, is shit. What's you happening right it? here? You keep fine. saying that over and over again, but it doesn't make it true. Just because, and you have you haven't shown Your any evidence. evidence of that at all whatsoever. Well, and it's right. sad so that it you keep thinking that you did, but you have not. Riley is showing evidence now all you do is the sun right there. No, don't you understand shadows um uh curved? No, what what's You're blocking the light correct. from the sun there, Riley? What's well, blocking no. the light from the sun? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, the light from the sun is being stopped, correct? But where's the cast shadow? Oh, come on. What come is on, you wrong understand how shadows you? work, right? What is wrong with you? There's no you know, shadow there. Realize. The do you sun see how much that... of the sun is visible? Do you yeah. realize how bright that the is? You want to shine tilt. Curved. What's wrong with me is there's no moon evidence in the picture. There's oh, no cast. It. There's no what? cast shadow, and the light is wrong for what we're supposed to be told. Right. Passing in front of the sun. Right. There's that no moon in the shot. There's is. just a mystery disc that Maybe appears exactly where the moon would be. There's no disc for no reason. It's hard for him to pay rent with that Curved. mind. There's no disc. What is the black thing? There is no black thing. On your picture right now that I'm seeing, what is that black thing? <laughs> That's the casting of the shadow, right? No. Oh, you're out of your mind. Are you, you are fucking kidding mind. me? Dude, Look at the evidence. Are you, gonna, you, are you serious? You need That's the moon, dude. Shock. Don't you guys understand how shadows work? That's the moon right you there. you understand how occultation works? That's no. the opaque moon that you're looking at right there. Oh my On my God. image opaque. or your image? Yeah. Otherwise, why? we'd see through it, right? Right. On, you I'm said not. if it's translucent, why can't no. we see through it? Grim, Remember, you, just, you, you opaque, listen. translucent. Yes. Look up the two words. But the, what do they there's mean? another one. Riley, right. if the moon is Cast passing shadow. behind the sun, why isn't the moon full? Are you confused? <sighs> right. It's hard to try and deal with the two of you when you're both speaking at me at once. If the moon is passing behind of you. the sun, why isn't the moon full? If the moon what? Why, if the moon is passing. Behind the sun, as you claim, at this new moon, 
why don't we see a full moon? Because the sun is receiving its light like a laser beam or like, you know, like a magnifying glass when we no. were kids? No, listen, no. let me answer. Let me answer. When, when we got a magnifying glass when we were kids and we got no. the sunlight and we concentrated it down onto a little white spot and we could set fire to ants and shit, that is what we're looking at the underside of. And the moon is is stopping that beam getting to the to what we see as the sun. The moon is tran is interfering with that, and it's doing it very Man. close because we can still then, see the craters on the okay. moon. Do you yeah. have like do you have like any do you have family members who believe that hogwash? Is that something that this is all about? I mean, I could, Look, you you know you're lying right now, right? This you is know a ridiculously important about. point, Riley. Could, why is the thin crescent there? Why does why does the moon wax and wane the way that it does just before and just after new moon? Well, that's keep that's it consistent with your laser. No, no, yeah, laser dirt. Because it's moving back into the proximity of the light from the sun. At the no. moment, when it's at no. moon, it's moving out of it. It's not in it. the accent that makes him sound smart. So he could say any kind of dumb stuff, and people will just fall for it because this is beyond accent. absurd, Riley. Grim, carry this on. This is beyond Grim. absurd. Curved, carry on, Grim. Do me a favor, Grim. Shush. Curved, carry on. No, you quit feeding on fluoridated. I've already American. made my point, Riley. I've already made my point. You're going to do nothing but lie and obfuscate around it. He was. Uh, I couldn't hear what you were made. saying. My point is made. You are busted. Right. Make your point so I can hear you. I already did. <sighs> well, did. there's nothing busted because you, heard him. you tried to argue it. If you, you made the point while he was speaking over you and, and, it and you won't repeat it, come on. <laughs> we can clearly see that this, the moon is opaque <laughs> and the sun. <laughs> it's not shining through the moon from your own photo. All right, so Grim, just explain to me three things. Why is there no casting of any shadow? Why can we not see any actually, evidence? Actually, there is. The you moon? see that? You see no, there, there is? is. You're, you're actually nothing. taking a picture of the shadow right there. No, there's Look nothing. Yeah, surely it is. Look at that. Look at. Hang on, let me get back to Look. it. I Look, it, it looks like a bow shock, right? Around the front of the photo. Hang there. on, you're, hang you're on. Just showing me that you're hiding now. Let me, hang on, let me get back to it. I can't see your screen at the minute. I see a Thunderbolt's info. I'm not looking at, I'm, no, we're looking at your screen, dude, that you just hid your, your little oh. photo that you had showing. Yeah. Oh, Do right, you expect yeah. that photograph to show shadow on the ground of the earth? No, what I'm saying is there is no evidence of a shadow in the image that you guys, uh, that we've just been talking about from that Thierry Legault guy. Son, There's no you need to open of... your eyes. No, you I'm need to show me where it is. Why is it darker in, in that area of the image there? Can you show you know me what a shadow talking? is? The shadow is the absence of light. That's all no, it is. No, 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 no. It's not. The shadow isn't a thing. Okay. It, it doesn't have an arbitrary, it doesn't have a, a, a physical attribute. Okay. It's it has just to the be absence of, of, no. of something. No, no. Okay. The it's the absence of light. No, no, no. No, no, no. So obviously there's the shadow it right there. The absence. Dude, look up the definition for shadow, you knucklehead. Yeah, it has to be cast, otherwise no, it's just it's an absence of light. Absence of light. It's shadow on the back of the moon. No, that's because yes, otherwise, when you yes. turn the light off in the room, there wouldn't be a oh, shadow, would there? It'd just be dark. The moon is shadowed you right know. now because it's behind. All right, the, Grim, you're obviously not the light it. source. You're obviously light not getting it. The sun. So I'm going to I'm going to step the back out is because the obviously shadow. you won't accept evidence. No the matter shadow what. casts just one no, at a time, please. One at a time. The shadow <laughs> cast upon another lit object is a different story altogether. You're asking where's the shadow? I'm showing you right there in your own picture. There's the shadow. The yes. shadow cast. That yeah. would be we would have to turn the camera around and face it towards Earth. How could I show you that from this picture that you're showing me? No, Come no, on, that, knucklehead. No, you're obviously misunderstanding what this picture oh, is showing. I'm misunderstanding. I'm showing the oh. obvious, the only physics that actually matter in this discussion. You're right. The genius that. that is Lily explain exactly what we are seeing in this picture since yeah. we're misunderstanding. You're obviously, yeah, okay. Grim's clearly misunderstanding. This is the Don't shadow away. cast from the moon. You're clearly misunderstanding. Let him Let derp. Speak. Let him derp. He'll hang himself. The moon is in the middle of the picture. We can't see it because we're sat in the shade. The sun oh, is in so the middle. Oh, so that is the moon, moon then. Yes, it's You're the shadow done, being Riley. cast by the moon. Oh, You're okay. done, Wiley. So the sun is in the background. And we're we won the that right there. You just said You're earlier done. that you're not looking at the moon before, right? You're no, done. we are looking at the cast shadow from the moon. That's yeah, what we're well, looking you, at. Yeah, now, the problem is... The, 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 the problem is, is the moon, remember? How do I know that's the moon, you said? Riley, is this moon on the backside of the sun in this image? Nope. This is the heliocentric model where it passes in front of the sun. Oh, mix and match. Gotcha. Okay, carry, carry, it, carry much. on. Oh, ad hoc? You're ad hocing now? No, I'm trying to explain to you the missing evidence or the missing elements. Even ad hocing? 
No, no, not ad hoc. I'm, I'm, showing, I'm showing you the missing <laughs> evidence in the Thierry photo that's an astro, an astro uh, photographer using expensive equipment that could not get this. Oh, my goodness. You guys claim it's true. Oh, my goodness. Look, I can do it with this 200 millimeter Canon with an F2.8 lens. The sure, Canon 60D. You can't right prove. There. You can't prove whether that's passing in front or behind. Yes, you can. Um, no, you can't because yes, you haven't done it. Yeah, wow. you can. The, the sun is. Uh, we can count the lumens. How many, <laughs> many lumens? Many, 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 many lumens. <laughs> well, while you're counting lumens, I'm going to step out because it's now becoming silly. Well, while they go back and forth and say their goodbyes, if they are doing so, I'm going to do a quick link. So if you are new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the Flat Earth debate. If you would like to support this channel, try it with the mute button actually off this time. Uh, there is a super chat that runs alongside the live show. If you would like to join the debate and contest anything that is being said here or state your views on the shape of the Earth, there is a link in the info box below this video. Simply mute the page you are currently watching before you click that link and when you join you are free to express your views there are only a couple of rules the first please do not swear if you do you will be ejected and the second if you are ejected please do not try to return you will be warmly welcomed back on the next show if you could share the show that would be greatly appreciated i'm going to transition back to the main action clearer you know why because yeah. most of the lumens are already blocked because it passed fully in front of the sun so oh when it's translucent behind, and passes you can behind. actually see no i no, said when you, you can't prove it you can't prove it on that why is the translucent disc blocking the light of the sun riley because it's translucent you're that's, assuming that that's you're, opposite no, of, that's the word normal. that's what opaque means knucklehead okay so no, no, the light no no you no are no backwards no, you are backwards. You are backwards. You're backwards. You're stupid. Curved. Curved. Saying the you're backwards. You're claiming translucency blocking the light. Curved. But now you're assuming. You're a moron. You're you assuming. It's opaque first, and now it's translucent. Hang on. Right? I'm hang assuming. On. No, no, no. Nothing. Let me clear. No, no. Let me clear it up I'm so you guys can understand. Nothing. No, you're assuming that the sun is creating its own light from a ball of hydrogen, helium, fusion, or whatever they call it these days. That's what did the you say? You're assuming that the what sun. What did you just say? You don't know who I am. Does he know who I am? He doesn't even know who I am, does he, guys? Plasma, no, plasma, 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 plasma. Riley, so you're saying there's a projector out there beyond the sun and the moon that is projecting somehow the light to make it appear as the sun, and the translucent moon blocks that light Correct. from reaching the point of the sun. Correct. That's the translucency is blocking the light. Yes. Say that again. What, Say that understand? again. Say Get that times out loud. Loud and clear. Translucency is blocking the light. Do you understand what translucency means? Yep. Uh, obviously, much. Do you better. understand what opaque means? Let Let's go. Let's go for the definition because clearly we're struggling on the word translucent. Grim oh, and opaque. Obviously, Actually, you are. I have no, no. You, you are. are. Let's go with the you definition. are. You are. Translucent. You think translucency blocks the light? I can even go on. I don't even need to. Wow. Can I just interject real quickly? I'm just going to go away for a wee minute and have a think about what the fuck both sides of this conversation are about. There you go. Now, if he was right no about swearing, please. The, what he's saying, the uh, the uh, translucent moon. Like, does he even do you know how backwards that is? Is blocking the light yeah, from the sun, cool. from behind the sun. Yeah, I actually have no, no clue apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The so the, the bright sun of has a moon that's translucent passing behind it, and somehow yeah. that is blocking the light from the sun. This is beyond retarded. That is Riley, the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Yourself. Riley, you're, you're fired. America has fired you. Seriously. Yeah, you're done. Nathan, aren't you Sorry to interrupt, guys. You guys heard it. Say we've been joined by Jazaconda. Please do not swear, Jazaconda. I will just eject you immediately. Hang on a sec. I, I can't hear oh, you. Sorry about that, Nathan. I'm very sorry. It's just a habit. No worries. Good to have you here. Thank ah, you for being here. So, I accidentally used the wrong link to go to the word translucent. What's the problem with the word translucent? There is no problem with the word translucent. There's a problem with right. my understanding of it. No, no, no. I said, how can you interpret the evidence 
as being the moon passing in front or the moon passing behind but being translucent. The bit we're struggling with is the word translucent and the interpretation of what the sun is. Your understanding of the I'll sun is that it's one. a big ball. Right. Wait, wait, no, wait, don't wait, shock, wait, 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 wait. Your first point is needs to be wait. null and void right now. <laughs> translucent, the definition, allowing light but not detailed images to pass through. Okay. Correct. So if it's translucent, why do I see a detailed image of the moon in my picture? But do you understand that translucency varies between one percent and hundred percent? No, 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 no. Huh? Do and, you understand oh, well, that translucency that varies much between one percent and hundred percent? Really? Okay. Right. So stop interrupting. And when you ask me a question, give me a chance to answer. Well, no, I can't see detailed images, right? Look, translucency what are those? is a degree between one percent and hundred. Uh huh. But guess what? Those what? are detailed images that I'm seeing behind the moon there. Yeah, yeah, but you're because the translation, yes, meaning that there's nothing in front of there's no, 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 no material. That that isn't what the there's no about. material obstructing. Look, the view is the same view, bro. That means this translucence. It must yeah. be. It must be paper thin, and, and no, 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 and paper it doesn't thin. distort the view of the moon at all. Look, there's the sea of tranquility. Why is just it all this? Just why is everything just like it is normally? Nothing's messed up or obscured. Just you're a wrong, percentage. You know? No, 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 no. You can't say I'm wrong because you can't. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're absolutely incorrect. The moon is not according behind the sun. But not according Sorry. to the evidence. Right. Uh, what, Miley, what is yes. the percentage of translucency in your image there of the black disc that is obstructing the light there, obscuring the what, light? What is the percentage? Yeah, what's the percentage of translucency? In I have no idea. I'd have to make an intelligent guess or a speculative guess. Light you from your possibly? laser to come through the moon and making the sun partially occulted. It would depend on the thickness and the density of the material we're looking at. I it would, have would to not. Uh, it sure would not. Else. There is zero. Zero what? Why, is, why are zero the craters not distorted? In that image of a black disc that is completely occulting that part of the sunlight. Look, it's blocking the light. There's How can no, you be I, as I, dense? I, the I answer know, is you're not. Questions you're about this ingenuous. Sun, Nathan, can I go away for five minutes and come back without being ejected if I mute my mic? Hi. But check that out. So take a look at this picture and tell me, how can I see this moon if it was behind that sun? Uh, do you understand how the bat light works on Gotham City? Oh, I sure do. But do you understand how bright that sun is? Yeah, but do you understand how dark? So how could I see the moon, a darker object behind a brighter object? Because it depends on how transparent it is. No, dude, you don't yeah, understand does, physics at all. No, so why you, is it? Why is us it, a favor? Hang on, hang on. Why is it that you can dismiss me at this point, but I can't dismiss you when you can't show where the moon's supposed to be? Well, because I'm because actually because you do know that Gotham City's not a real city. Gotham City's not a real city. Right. So obviously right, it's degraded into it. exactly. Got, plus, Gotham City isn't even real. So. All right. Do you flat earthers yeah. realize that Riley is trolling you guys. He is mercilessly mocking you. Yeah, yeah, well, do you realize that you're just simply right, rejecting right. evidence that goes against your notion that the moon You don't have any evidence. Sun. You, you don't even know what translucent again, means, and you're using it opposite to its definition. No, I'm not yeah. at all. I'm yes, giving it exactly are. the way it's... It's, no, it's... No, clearly you're not. Opaque. You, you, Riley, this is clearly opaque. opaque. You didn't Pardon? really use opaque. any real evidence because you thought Crossing City was a real city. I can't even believe right. we're having this argument. I think I'm out of here. It. It's obviously degraded into trivial tr playground stuff again since that guy's come in. Just well, no, I think you're trying to make look dumb. Grim. You better run Curved. now before we Thank you for that. your uh, time. But I'm, not, I'm out of here. Yeah. Not a real sure all flat earthers you agree that you yeah. just made you just made terrible arguments for flat earth and you need to just go over the whole position. You can't use Gotham City as the real city for proof of flat earth, man. That hurts. That hurts flat earthers, man, and that's not fair to them. You're just clowning. Oh, it did. It did. They just hit a couple of curves, a couple of bumps. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. That's I couldn't believe. A big it. thank you to Anthony Riley for being on. Much obliged. Really appreciate it, Anthony. I'm just going to do one last plug before we end, and I thank the audience a little bit later. So, if you'd like to join to do some last minute trolling, there's probably about ten minutes left of this show. Just click the link in the info box below this video. As I say, I'll round out the show in about ten minutes time. I hope you're not pointing to me when you say do some trolling there, Nathan. Nah, don't take it personally. No, it's no, part good. of the old, part of the thing. Let's people do their thing. Oh yeah, no, that's fair enough.
He's talking about hopefully, me, actually. Personally. Hopefully, Metal Slug Master <laughs> will join and add something that we may have missed here. I'm sure there's lots of Trying to argue with Riley is very difficult because of his tactics, all of his obfuscation and everything, and and <laughs> deliberate misuse of terms. Yeah, I, I yeah, hope yeah. it's still that it's not due to him just being actually that dumb that he's trying yeah, to use the word translucent so. to block the tell. light and create a completely black disc. Uh, yeah, because it's translucent. Be, it what a moron. I think he might have just learned something just now, and it's going to take a couple you know, hours to sink in. Like he's like, oh, okay. How could the light from the moon come mm. through? How did the guess, shadow from the moon come through the light from the sun, right from behind it? And he start. And when I try to explain it, the shadow doesn't have physical attributes, so it's not going to penetrate the light, right? Yeah, yeah. The penetrate the light. Only light penetrates a shadow. The shadow is just the absence of light. So once you start understanding that, you know that the light, a shadow, can't be the source of darkness <laughs> yeah yeah and then they they start to um it gets lost yeah they they start effing up themselves with their observations and they get a little effed up and all around the wrong way and that's when it becomes comedy well, it's comedy <laughs> from the beginning comedy but... gold Oh, yeah. That was pretty pathetic. And and is that one of the uh, larger YouTube channel, Flatter Earther channels? Actually, he's okay. he's getting barely any attention from anybody. That's why he's so desperate trying to be controversial, in my opinion. Oh, okay. He's, 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 he's this channel, nice. And... No, 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 Riley. Riley has disabled <laughs> oh. comments on his videos now. Because he doesn't get any support from the flat earth community. They've pretty much abandoned him. He's kind of on his own. He's, he's desperate. Yeah, well, that, that's the same as Bob from Globebusters. I've emailed him numerous times. And Jaren, um, they're just a... I don't want to say they're, cons they're, you know, making it up. I think they're actually crazy. Hard to tell um, sometimes. Bose law and all it, that. It is hard to tell, but Bob claims he's a pilot, and he's sure as shit not a pilot. Well, probably not to the level that he claims anyway. He might have a small aircraft license or something like that. Oh no, he he, 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 can hope on that. he he doesn't even have that. I I called him out so many times. I had to email him and say, look, you might be a pilot, but you're probably got a thousand hours on. Flight, it's Flight Simulator X. 400 hours uh, uh, single engine Cessna uh, Cocoa yeah. Beach, Florida. <laughs> yeah, no, he, he doesn't even know how gyroscope works, so he's definitely not a pilot. No, yeah. It stays fixed as it, in its rotation in it, that particular space. Fixed to the space. Well, the, the move, spinning... Move, it looks like the gyro moves, but the gyros change still. <clears throat> you move, and that's how we can tell how you're off kilter. It's pretty Maybe simple. Adam yeah. Young would like to come in and correct us on whatever, you know, we're talking oh, here. Yeah. Please. I want someone to show me how the focal pendulum... Focal pendulum. Uh, Mr. Focal. How his on, pendulum is, yeah, yeah. Is, is not um, evidence of... Sorry, yeah. Jazaconda, can you pop yourself on mute when you're not talking? Because all I can hear is you breathing. Oh, shit. Sorry, man. <sighs> Sorry. Just anybody, I mean, because I've, I've heard so many different um, repeated, parroted arguments of misrepresentations of arguments about the folk open door. But I've never heard any real ones. I mean, I'm just, I mean, I, I, I mean, I have heard the alias effect. I've heard it many different ways, though. Flat Earthers tell me it goes around the other way around. That's like, no, it doesn't. Changes by one two thousandth of a rotation, which is not detectable by humans. You have to detect that measurement by, you know. <laughs> 
how how uh, verifiable and repeatable is this allay effect to begin with? Exactly, that's the uh, allay effect actually was ruled out as with higher tech um, equipment as an effect in altogether. It hasn't been observed in the past thirty years. It's not as detectable and repeatable with an ADI, which automatic direction indicator, That's which right. is still a gyro in a in the vertical plane to direct change of direction. But yeah, but that's um, the important takeaway. After for thirty years now, it has not mm. been detected with all our new equipment. That was when yeah, it's but, like we thought the 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 sun was only you know ten million miles away when we couldn't get our measurements from the moon and the parallax, you know, from the uh, half moon properly because you couldn't get the angles right until they've figured out how to get those angles more properly and measure those distances across the uh, the two observers. They've figured out how to get the ratio of that angle uh to come out to a distance ratio because you know once you have a 90 degree angle yeah. you, you can work out the how from the hypotenuse the the uh, the distance of the, the, uh, the second target yeah well that's right and that's like in the 1800s they made it without even gyro stabilized they made a ungyro stabilized lantern for lights and and freaking um, oh, yeah. You know, wooden wooden sailing ships right. he, people on a gimbal. Yeah, exactly. He he he'd, uh, you know, activated gyro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with the, with the wee candle in the bottom, and yeah, yeah. Smartest thing you could think of, right there, for especially being on the water like that and, and traveling. I got to keep my north north, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, and and to think in today's day and age that people are saying the Earth's flat is just holy fucking shit. Um, are we, Nathan, uh, Metal Slug's uh, master is uh, asking how often this debate happens yeah, in chat. Uh, I mean, I'd, I'd do them twice daily if I could. I love doing these. I mean, I think your guys, are, you well, you may not if you agree, I don't know. But I thought this was the best one so far of 18. And I, if I... As I say, I would do them twice daily. It's more down to how calm my kid is because at the moment, you know, she's sat occupied and I can run the show happily. Um, but it might be the case that I don't do them any day. You know, it might be three days, three weeks that elapse without me doing one. But at the moment, I'm, I'm tending to do them daily at about the same ish time, which for UK viewers is between about 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. approximately. Um, and that may continue unless my kid has some toothache or something, basically. But yeah, child pending, I'll do them as often as I can. Nathan, can I just quickly ask you if um, I muted my mic? Were you still getting feedback from me? No, once I mute somebody, unfortunately, they can only unmute themselves. I might as well say that now for the audience as well. So if you're on a Mac or PC, you just have to move your mouse pointer over the Hangout screen and it'll move. I'll show you on screen, actually, just so you can see when I move my mouse pointer over the screen, it brings up the mute button. And for anybody who's on a mobile or a tablet, you just have to tap the screen and it'll bring up the same page so you can unmute yourself. But unfortunately, as a host, I can only mute you. I can't unmute you. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I think I've got it, man. And um, yeah, th thank you very much for um, for your hangouts and letting everyone have a have a say. And um, and good luck with your little new one. That's awesome news. Yeah, well, it's and, uh, as I say, this one's been the best so far, in my humble view. Yeah, awesome, man. Awesome. With that, it's probably a good opportunity for me to actually round out this hangout So as we're reaching the two-hour mark. So the first thing I'm going to do is say a massive, huge, enormous thank you to all of the live audience, especially the people who have donated to my Super Chat. So thank you very much indeed to Charlotte and Fanny Lancer for donating to the Super Chat. If you would like to join future debates, as I've just discussed, there will be a link in the info box, hopefully daily, on future videos. Be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe. I've been Nathan Oakley and I will see you all in the next video.